Hello everybody, welcome back to my art journal channel. So today I'm working in the Dina Wakeley Blue Edition Media Journal and I'm going to be working on a denim page. Um, these are some cards that I made for the uh, Collage Fodder 100 Day Challenge, um, which I've kind of fallen off the wagon with that one and I'm not managing to do it as well as I was. So I'm just going to show you how I created that um, piece of collage fodder there. So I'm using some of this um, packing tape. It's um, got like a, an adhesive backing on it so if you wet it it will stick but I did stick it down with some um, glue stick. Then um, you notice that I tore it in half because I wanted it to have sort of like rougher edges. Then I added um, some white acrylic paint in odd spots on it and then I'm using this Dina Wakeley scribbled faces stencil and um, a blending tool no a sponge and I'm just applying some paint through that and just adding some of the faces onto this uh, piece of card then with the paint that I've got left I'm just um, adding some paint in, in three places and just kind of making it feel a bit more like the faces are part of the um, piece of card really, I'm not really sure what to say there. Um, then I'm using a Signo Uniball in white and just adding some mark making onto the black that I've added. Um, all this just helps it all kind of sit together a bit better and it's quite fun doing a bit of mark making. You know I often use dots quite a lot but these are just like little, um, little lines all grouped together, different heights and different lengths, works quite effectively. So I'm going to do that on all of the areas where the black paint is. You notice that the black paint isn't particularly opaque. It was just using up what was left, really. Um, so it's got quite a nice, um, it's almost a bit of an, um, a translucent quality to it. So I'm just taking the mark making right to the edges. And then this is the last area where I was going to do some of those marks. Okay, so these are some um, wonky bits that have been created from a course uh, by Willa Wanders. Um, you can find that course on her website. Um, so I'm just adding a few of these using the ones that I've done on craft. Sorry about that wobble. I must have whacked the camera with my head. I don't quite know how I managed to do that. So I'm just sticking these down with um, some glue stick. And you notice that I'm the collage is coming off the edges of the card. Um, just kind of softening those edges really. And then I'm using some of the craft packing tape again on the page. I'm going to stick this straight on. This is just going to give me a sort of like a grounding for where the collage piece is going to go. And then uh, because it's sticking onto denim, I decided I would stick it down with a double sided tape um, just because it's quicker and it's less messy. And I know it will stay put. So then I was just tidying up the edges where the double sided tape was sticking over um, and then once I'd stuck it in place I then decided that I wanted some more little doodly elements to go on the page. So I found a couple more pieces but this time echoing the white that was also on the piece of collage. Then um, I'm using a Posca pen and then I'm reverting to my dots, a bit of mark making using dots and my Posca pen and you can see that I'm taking the dots off the collage and onto the denim, um, just kind of, I don't know, taking the, the collage into the page. Um, once I had done that, I can't remember what I did next, <laughs> come on, come on Claire, what's next? Then I took the doodling that I'd done with the lines out onto the collage that I'd added onto the denim page. Um, then I used this stamp set from Dina Wakeley and the stamp that says fall in love with the process. I stamped it onto collage tissue paper and then using some gel medium I stuck this onto the page. and then just stuck that in place. So that, that works really well on here. Even though you can still see a bit of the white from the collage tissue paper, that really doesn't matter. And then I just got a little bit of um, white acrylic paint and just a bit of tubing that I had hanging around 
and just stamped some circles onto the page. And there you go, there's the finished page. Really simple, really quick, but very effective. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.